Cool. Hey guys, so this is my um, latest HGA order. Um, I'm just going to go through the cards that I got graded, um, show them off a little bit, and then I'm going to have a little bit of a chat about um, the direction I'm going to go in with my my collection and um, why I guess my little experiment with HGA is over. I don't think that's the direction I'm going to go down. And I'll have a bit of a chat about why after. So I'm just going to show them first so that if you're just here to see the cards, you can watch them, see those, and then take off. So first of all, we have a Alex Kirilov. I've got a 10 on the autograph. Um, this is from 2021 Tops Finest. And this is a custom label as well. So this looks absolutely fantastic. I was so pumped when I saw this. Um, so it's an autograph uh, numbered to 150. Alex Kirilov, by the way, what an autograph. That looks amazing. Um, yeah, so, you know, this is something that HGA does really well. So props to them for that. Really compliments the card. Got a 9.5 gem mint. So pretty, pretty pumped. 2021 tops finest. Blue Refractor, Alex Kirilov. Check that out. I might even put that one up on a stand, I think. Why not? Okay. Up next is 2018 Tops Update. This is Legends in the Making. So you can only find these ones in um, retail packs. And um, this is the Blue Parallel. So not numbered. Um, 9.5 gem mint. And also got a 10 on the centering, which is pretty cool. Um, HGA, like I will give them credit as well. They, from the three orders I've sent in, have been they've been very consistent. I feel like with their with their grading, maybe even um, more favourable towards I guess what I thought would have been graded lower. They've given higher grades than I actually expected. So um, that was pretty cool. That's the back of the card there. Um, oh, yes, by the way, um, I, so originally in my, uh, I'll talk about this after anyway, but this is the team colour neutral um, uh, label. So it matches the Washington Nationals. Uh, then we have the 2018 Tops Update rookie debut card. This has got a 9.5 um, all around. So true gem mint. Awesome. Looks fantastic. Um, yeah, HGA, really great slabs. They look the part for sure. 2021 Top Series 1. Um, this is from the Silver Pack. And this got 9.5 gem in as well. A 9 on the centering, but pretty pumped with that. Another really good looking one Soto card with the neutral team colour match label. Um, this one got a nine, so this is a mint 2021 Tops Heritage. This is the hot box refractor. Um, yeah, as you can see, like the, some the labels match different cards. Um, like I think if I go back to like this one, you know, like that team color match really complements the one on the right, and not so much the one on the left, but. To me, like personally, I would rather have a, like uniform labels for my collection. Um, but we will, I'll talk about that after anyway. Um, and the next two are just for my desk. So this is for my desk at work. Washington Nationals, um, team card. When I sent this in, they didn't have the, um, they've actually got a service now where they just put them in a slab. Like they don't give it a grade or anything it's a, and it's a little bit cheaper, which would have been great. Um, but this got a 10 on the centering in the corners too. So 9.5 on the team card for the desk. And um, so that's the, that's the desk at work. And this is the desk at home, the computer desk. So Washington Nationals, this is from 2020 Top Series 1. That got a 9.5 gem in as well. Um, okay, so if you were just here to see the, see the cards and see a little bit of a reveal, take off. And um, I'm going to have a, just a chat a little bit about how, um, like my experience with HGA for a couple of minutes. So um, stick around if you'd like to hear about that. All right. So there's a few things about HGA, like being such a new company, um, that I guess I wouldn't say rub the wrong, rub me the wrong way, but just kind of steered me away from from them. I guess for the foreseeable future until they've sort of 
got a bit of time to figure figure out their direction as a company. But like, I'm just going to show you one um, one thing here. So um, obviously, I've this is my third HGA order now. I've I've sent in a bunch of landscape cards, and um, all of them have the label on this side, except for this one. So like, I've got eight landscape cards. Or like, just just say, like if I had eight landscape cards and I was displaying them and you've got all on one side and then one on the other, it's just like, it just looks a little out of place. And like for someone who's, you know, you, you even though it's their reasonable prices, I, I feel like, um, for HGA, if you're paying that sort of money, man, you, like you want, you want the, your collection to be really uniform and um, that's just one thing that sort of bugged me um if you've seen my past videos as well they've sent you know incorrect um incorrect label and also bowing issues so i've checked these ones there's no bowing issues with this um but all i'm saying is that being such a new company if you're submitting your cards to this company like expect some sort of little issues because really out of three orders that i've sent in um one has come back like flawless, I guess, and the other two had some some minor issues. So the other issue I had with this order was that it was four weeks late. Um, which you know it's not it's not so bad. And like they've said on their company that it's because of COVID reasons, which is totally understandable. Um however, I sort of found it a little bit hypocritical when, you know, on the front of their website they're sort of um they're saying, you know, these are these are our turnaround times where where you know sixty days actually means sixty days, kind of like sort of taking subtle jabs at like PSA where you know they're taking ridiculous amount of times to get their cards back to customers. But um, you know if you if you're gonna like make your whole business model about about that, you better be damn sure that you're gonna get you're gonna meet that. And um, I just found that a little hypocritical that they're already you know four weeks late on some of their orders. And who knows, like it might even get worse depending on, on how they go with COVID and holidays, Christmas holidays, things like that. Um, so it was a, my original plan that I was going to sort of start my HGA collection of Juan Soto and have all of these sort of matching, matching labels. So um, this is, yeah, neutral team color match. And I'm just going to talk about why I, I prefer, I'm, I'm going to go in a different direction. Um, first of all, the issue is if you, if you want to buy like single cards from HGA off the web, um, it's very, very unlikely that you're going to be able to find the same sort of labels as your collection. So I guess one of the big things, one of the big pros, I guess, that HGA puts out is that they're, you know, you can have really custom labels, you can get all these unique different labels. But if you're anything like me and you and you want like a really uniform collection, um, it's sort of it's it's kind of turns it turns it into a negative for me. But I, again, that's that's a personal thing. Like I'm sure many people really like the different labels. Um, but Having like a pretty decent PS, PSA collection now, when I'm looking at that, um, it's very uniform. Like that's what I really like about it. Um, another thing I would say is that, um, so all I did was send in cards that weren't serialized. They're not, they're not worth hardly anything. Um, I, like I'll probably end up selling the Alex Kirillov, but if you look at resale value of H HGA, and just keep this in mind if, if you're, you're thinking about submitting to HGA, just keep this in mind. Your resale value on your cards is not going to be anything close to that of like P uh, PSA or uh, Beckett. So um, like cards, this same card in a PSA slab is going to sell for a hell of a lot more than in a HGA slab. Um, just go and look, go on eBay yourself and have a look at sold listings, go on 130 point, have a look. Um, you'll find that that's the case for the most part. Um, other than that, what else? What else? Um, yeah, I think, I think um, I'm, I'm just going to go in a different direction. I sort of had a bit of an experiment with them and I think um, 
I'm just going to wait. I'm going to wait it out for PSA. I've got a lot of serialized cards, one Soto cards, um, that I'd like to send in eventually. Um, and I'm just going to do that once their sort of backlogs cleared up. Who knows? I might be waiting a while, but I'm sort of in it for the long term. I'm a collector, so I'm not flipping these cards. Uh, I'm looking for a long term sort of solution or a long term plan, I guess, for my one Soto collection. And, and I think it's going to be with PSA. Um, yeah, so that's my little ramblings and just, just my thoughts on my sort of three order experience with HGA. Um, it was always my plan that I was going to send in some cards that, you know, I'm not too worried if they, yeah, I was just, you know, I, I didn't want to send my higher end one Soto cards in while I was still deciding how I'm going to go with, um, what direction I'm going to go in with the grading and, um, just with the collection overall. Anyway, guys, thanks for listening. If, you, if you're still here, you've probably taken off by now. <laughs> but if not, um, have a great day. See you later. Let me know what you think in the comments if you agree with some of the things I said or uh, if I'm a little off. Thanks, guys. See ya.